Hey guys, YDCB here with some more Summoner's War action. Fifth and energy on the dot again. Well, I want to apologize. This video could be late, could be short. I don't know. I haven't been feeling well. I missed this. You know, I was, you know, usually I stream this morning. I missed that, you know, a random stream. It's usually around today. I missed it. I know some of you were there and you were like, oh, where's, where's the stream today? You know, I'm sorry for that. I will try to make it up tomorrow or something if i feel up to it <clears throat> i'm still trying to clear my throat it's like when i was asleep and someone just came in my throat and it's just something stuck there i'm trying to clear it i've been trying to do it all afternoon anyway news update come to us released a trailer again all right summoner's war trailer all right this is about the homunculus again okay so we're gonna take a look at that and uh, this is it there's the door opening it's similar to the last Korean trailer, just a little bit more footage. I assume the one in the hood is us. Alright, we're summoners. And we do a Hadouken thing, and then the vault, the little orb in the center, changes to like a doll thing. And then, like a giant starts to form up, you know, like a giant being. And I think we can assume that is the homunculus. Alright, let's just go back. So I think we can assume that this guy is the homunculus. Like some people are saying, is this the light ifrit? Uh, or not? We, you know, we don't know. It's all speculation. Right? I wish they would give us more information, you know. But it's cool that they're doing these cinematics. You know, and it gives a, a touch of class to the game. You know, like the, you know, the release like an Orion uh, anim animation, the Daven animation a while ago. And now to do a cinematic like this, it's going in the right direction. It's a nice thing. I would appreciate more information, but yeah, this is all we get. But according to past trends, what happens is that uh, after after something like this gets released, okay, you need not wait too much longer. All right. According to past trends, I think like we have to wait like I predict September. According to past trends, September we'll get the next update. Alright, the big update. I predict it will be soon. They're sooner than later. Alright? It's gonna be September later. That's what I feel according to you know when Necro was released, when raids were released, you know, when they came up with something like this. So yeah, that's it for the homunculus update, more information, whatever. So we've got a guild war going on today. I missed the first guild war because I couldn't wake up, like I said. So we've got Magic Academy, we already won, so let's just go ahead and do best plus 3, plus 2, and plus 1. It's an Akuma. Is this an Akuma? I believe it is. It's an Akuma Chiwu Galleon. I mean, okay, fair enough. Akuma, meaning we cannot armor break this Akuma. Do we need to armor break an Akuma though? I mean, can I just bring this? Am I right? There is no way this Chiru is going to move before my Teo because I've got a Bernard buffer, right? And Teo with attack buff, we're gonna kill Akuma, right? I don't. It doesn't make sense for him to run a tank Akuma and a speed stripper armor breaker comp like this. So it would most likely be a Nuka Akuma, which would most likely die to Squall, even without any debuffs on him. That is, that is my guess, unless he's trying to mind fuck me. Which I hope isn't the case. How about the one below, Hodam Perna Beth? This is the first time I've seen Beth on defense. It confuses me so much that I'm thinking I just don't want to let them move. So I'm just gonna bring Verrat into here. And then I'm gonna go Anival. And then I'm thinking, alright, I'm thinking I want a stripper. I do not want to give Beth a single move because destroyed HP is an irre irreversible thing, right? So I'm thinking, instead of the usual another attacker here, I think that I want to bring a stripper because I expect them to have will rules, you see? So I'm thinking I'm going to bring um, Praha for this, alright? I'm going to bring Praha for this. My intention here is to strip whatever will rules and stop Beth from moving entirely. Well, the thing is, with this lineup, I might not have the damage that I need to break Hodam. So that's a tricky thing. Should I forego Praha and maybe go for something like uh, any other damage dealer, like a Chandra or, or even even a Kumar, you know? All right, so let's do that. Let's take Chandra. I mean, I haven't played with Chandra since forever. All right, so let's try out Chandra. That's it. Let's do this. We've got Freeze. We've got Attack Speed Slow. We've got Armor Break. 
right? It should be enough. Then again, if you have will runes, it means that I'm gonna give Beth one move to destroy my HP, and hopefully the AI is stupid. Okay, we do Tailwind. Even though everyone else has will runes, we're gonna do time to loot. It's gonna affect no one, but it's gonna give attack buff to Teo. And then we kill this guy. Right? I told you. I expected him to be a new card type Akoma, which which wouldn't have more than say 30,000 HP. So we would be able to kill it. Okay, so we do this now. Oh, I should have actually armor broken Chiu to save time, but it's okay. It's in the bag anyway. Yeah? The only way he would maybe win this is if he caught me off guard with a uh, tank Akuma, which then, you know, then I would be surprised, but I don't think that he would have enough to win anyway. Triple will rule. Fortunately for me, alright? Fortunately for me, uh, they went first, right? It's a super fast bet. That bet and Perna both have more than 200 speed. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna freeze them. I'm gonna freeze them. I'm not gonna use my zero here. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a trick of water here. This is gonna take Wadam down to half HP. Oh wow! What actually? What? It actually almost killed Wadam. Like what? Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Oh what the fuck, Annabelle? <laughs> oh, this feels good. Okay, we zero now. We zero. All right, Beth is dead. All right. <laughs> Those violent procs though, I mean, not only violent, right, I, I do know that some of the additional turns was due to the fact that Annabelle procs additional turns when she sleeps someone, yeah, but still, you know, seeing that happen, armor break on this turn, and then the next turn you get to armor break again, that's like, that's a lot of procs, okay, and that's good, when something like that happens, you pretty much win the game, that's how good animal is you know when, when she procs that much which happens pretty often all right it's pretty much game winning right because just like bringing two animals into a fight you know a fourth slot in your guild war when that happens next let's do the best best two we've got judas wind monkey animal ah oh, juno oh my god a lot of stuns a lot of stuns how do i want to deal with this here's what i think i'm gonna do all right we're gonna do this we're gonna bring Ramagas here. It's gonna be okay. And then we're gonna bring we can bring pretty much any fire nuker here and it should be fine. I think in the end I'm still going to go with Arnold because I don't know, this amount of ignore defense damage is just so good that I can't pass it up. Theomars, Chloe Chasu. Strip, kill Theomars, we win. Am I right? Strip, kill Theomars, we win. I'm gonna go with this. I don't need to bring Theomars, I can bring Sean for for variety. It doesn't matter. The fact that I bring a Shan there ensures that this Chasun doesn't glance my Shan. Right? She's gonna glance what's his face? Uh Praha. Right? It doesn't matter if he go she glances Praha. So there's this, this oh my god, the animal's going crazy. Um yeah, predicted future was already done. So we do this now. And um I think I wanna get rid of the, the Juno. What do you think? I think I want to get rid of the Juno or animal. I think I can live with the monkey being alive. Because the Juno removing my immunity is just, you know, a pain in the ass. I don't want that happening. I, I want to have my immunity on. Alright? So, we're gonna have to actually take another... Alright, this should be enough damage. But, we have a problem here. The problem is, I cannot clean shot just now. Because if I clean shot just now, Anvil moves in between, you see. I, I couldn't let that happen. So I'm gonna do this. Predict the future comes. Oh my god, if he stuns me now. If he stuns my Ramagos now. I'm in deep trouble. Oh my god, please. Don't stun my Ramagos, please. Monkey won. Alright, alright, alright. <coughs> Monkey won doesn't stun. So that's okay. Now we go for this uh, animal. I want to keep village rule alive, so I want to kill animal ASAP. Oh my god! I want to keep village rule alive for future fights. Okay, so I want to kill this animal first because this animal is going to kill. Right, it's going to kill my village rule. I don't want that happening. 
please stop talking violence, please. Let me, oh my god, defense buff. We have one more turn. We have to survive one more turn. How do we do that? Can my Ramago survive one more turn? This is where I wish I had a Kumar. Okay, this is where I wish I had a Kumar. Okay, we survived. We survived, we kill Anibal. I don't even, I don't think I need to crouch now. I don't think I need to crouch now. Let's just work on this monkey. I. I don't want to attack this monkey with Velodruel. Why? This monkey could revenge my Velodruel. And then he could kill my Velodruel. I don't want that happening. I'm gonna crouch. I'm gonna do this. It's gonna do like 14, 12,000 because of the stupid passive. Oh, I have no choice. I have to attack the monkey. No, don't revenge. Don't revenge. I want to keep Velodruel alive for the next fight, please. Weaken. Please don't revenge. Okay. Okay. We stay Velodruel as well. We stay Velodruel. Yep, let's just clean shot you for <coughs> for fun. We don't even need that to happen. Ah, oh, fanatic! This is slow Theomars. It's a slow Theomars. It's slower. It is slower than my Sean. So if we oblivion, he did, guys. Oh my God! What? How is he faster? I looked at the attack bar, okay, and I felt that he was slower than my Sean from the attack bar. But apparently, I I misjudged it. Okay. My, my Sean is slower than... My Sean is too slow. Alright, Theomars would have moved perfectly after the Siren. But Sean is a little bit too slow. Because Sean is really hard to root, right? He doesn't get crit rate or speed from Awakening. But you need crit rate and speed. You need max crit rate and you need good speed. And then now, aside from all of that, you still need, like, what? Attack and crit damage. And some HP. So there's so much stats that you need to make Sean... An effective nuker, minus 100% crit rate, uh, 180 speed, apparently still not enough, you need like, you need like 200 speed from that, you know, so it's not easy, it's not easy to ruin a Shan, not like Tayor, not like Lagron, because they both get really good awakening bonuses that are, you know, uh, more in line with building a Squall Chimera. Shan seems to be more like a supportive Chimera than a, you know, a Squall Camera, even though he's been changed with an attack type monster. I mean, how many out there, I mean, attack type monsters really should be given crit rate or, you know, speed. I mean, crit rate when you awaken. Yeah? I don't think it should be given anything else. Like support type, you give speed or accuracy, is fine. You know, you know what I'm saying? All right, the best plus one, Banks. What's he got? Camilla, Theomar, Chasun, Double Copper, Bomber, um, no, I don't want to bomb this guy. Double Copper, Double Katarina, it's all gonna work. I'm just gonna go with Katarina here. The second one, Jutan, Escher, Praha. Should I do the same thing against him? Like Jutan, Escher, Praha? What do you guys think? Yeah? No, but I can't kill the Jutan, Escher, Praha, can I? Like, how do we kill a Jutan? I mean, you can't one-shot a Jutan, Escher, or Praha with... With, uh, Escher's uh, Massacre. I mean, it's not gonna do enough, but we're gonna do it anyway. I mean, if he can't do it to me, if I can't do it to him, then he can't do it to me. We can't one-shot each other. It's all going to be a battle of procs and runes, right? <coughs> do this. Ideal situation, two, Chasun, one, Theomar. No, no, not like this. Oh no, we don't get to, we don't get to pop and Dior. Oh crap, I need to save Katarina. No, no violence! Oh my god. G fucking G. G. G fucking G, G fucking G, G fucking. Please, 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 please. Go for, go for, go for the dragon. Go for the. Woo! Shit! Okay, oh my god. Oh, why is this guy quitting me? He keeps... Look at that bullshit, guys. Do you see that bullshit? Do you see the bullshit of this Camila? He quit three times in a row on my win. So, yeah! That's what you're supposed to do, man. You're water, okay? You're water, you don't quit win. Not that often. You quit like once in ten times, you bitch. Oh my god. <coughs> We're never gonna win now. We're never gonna win now. Jamario never wins Camila because she will just get more props than me. Look at that. 
She will just look at that. She just heals. Look at that. Oh, fuck this shit. I'm the fuck this shit. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck Camila. Please nerf her. <laughs> Until I have her. Please. Fucking bullshit. Okay. My God. Oh dear God. He gets the stun on me. I need to stun his stunner. Stun his stunner. Can I get a move, please? Can we stun him? Where am I stun? He gets the stun. I don't get the stun. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Ooh, despair! Motherfucking despair, Asher! Are you kidding me? Are you fuck? Jesus Christ! Can I stun him? He keeps stunning me. Let me stun him. Okay, is this my only chance now? This is my chance. I'm a break. What? Fuck your daydream. Eh? How come it's still his turn to move? The fucking speed buff. Can, can we stand, stand, stand? All right, all right. This, this. I want to kill this Jutan. All right, I want to kill this Jutan because he keeps dropping this on my Asher, and I can't heal my Asher when he keeps doing that. You know. <clears throat> I can't do that. I can't. You know what? Fuck this guy. I don't care. I don't care about armor break. Just kill it. Let's kill him first. Good. And the good thing is, his Asher is always going for my Jutan. You see, his Asher is always going for a Jutan. Just as my Asher always going for his Jutan. <laughs> oh my god, let's just uh, give us some speed. Alright, let's give us some speed. Once we kill... Actually, I can just go for a Praha here. Yeah, I can go for Praha. If I, I'm a big Praha, it's gonna be good. The problem here is, I didn't stick my speed properly, so... As you can see, it's just not perfect, right? Jutan moves... What's an armor break? <clears throat> but the enemy always moves in between. Whoever it is. Be it Asher. Okay. Be it Asher or be it Praha. They're always gonna move in between. So there's my that's my issue. I can't get an armor break on this guy. I'm gonna give myself speed again. And hopefully we can catch up with the attack buff, okay? I think No we still can't. You see, the problem here Jutan moves, and then Asher moves, and then Praha moves, and then and then it's my turn after that. <laughs> you see what I mean? Oh shit, I should have massacred. I should have massacred. They would have killed Asher. I should have done that. I made a mistake there. But I think it's still in the back. I think it's still in the back. I don't think... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time Asher crits me, crits my Jutan, he takes damage. So the only reason why I want is that... <coughs> I focus his Jutan first with everything I have. And in this case, he only attacked... Um, whatever element was weaker against him, so the damage was spread out, right? That's why I won. Even though he had obviously more stunts going his way, yeah? He had a Despair Asher for fuck's sake. Who the fuck runs a Despair Asher? That's so, <laughs> That's like, that just, that just takes you by surprise, you know? You don't see that every day. Time for a random review of the day. Mystica Scroll Summon. No Lightning Battle Mammoth. The Wind one, not so good. Yeah. Dark one is good. What else is there? The water one decent. The rest are pretty shit. I mean, yeah, pretty shit. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> Alright, that's all the time we have for today. I do apologize for the short video. I missed out on the Guild War. Before I go, there is a link in the comments. Uh, it's a link to the event that it's on the Summer's War Facebook page. And you can get like a mystical scroll or something from it for free. Uh, to participate in this new homunculus thingy. So go ahead, it's a legit link, don't worry, click on it, go there, you know, I think you fill in some form or something and register for the event, alright? So, with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye! <laughs>